Did you ever get down with the JA versus MQ beef? Oh, hell yeah. That, yeah? Oh, that the whole beef was because of me. Really? Yeah. What happened? He had the J, 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 oh, the whole beat was over Sasha Jenkins because J.A. used to put swastikas up. Really? Yeah, yeah. All those, the, the, the people tell you, oh, ghosts, saints, all those all the old white, boy, rock and roll, like, those classic rock guys, they give a fuck. Like bikers, they put swastikas. So J.A. was doing that. So I was like, I was like, you cross out. That's how I crossed out swastikas that me and Jay went to beef. And, uh. The first time before Jay, he he was he was like, "Let's do this." I was like, "Here," I was like, "I'll fight you." you know, that's where I met Toby. Mm, really? He was like, what? He's like, "I know you from Hardcore Show." I was like, "You get away from him. Fight, fight this nigga." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, what the fuck? I hold on a second. So, so I was like, about to, he's like, "I'm about to fight Jay <laughs> one." Yeah, no, so he, I, we went not even three seconds and knocked in the gals. So I turned around and said, "Yo, I'm I'm Isaac." You know, so he's and he's like, oh, "It's like a movie." He's got knocked out. His boy. So then I formed a second time. And I was with Gavin, and his girlfriend pulled a fucking razor on me. Pulled out, and I was like, I said, all right. So I slapped her, blah, she fell on the floor. <laughs> and then I said, what's up, nigga? Bah! He, he, he got knocked out even faster. He was like, I was like, there's two people before Gavin. And I was like, I was like, Gavin, thanks for letting me shoot the fair one. Because Gavin made it, you know, and I left. So that was it. Toby's with me that time, too. That time too. Then after that, so crazy, I was like, all right, so I was like, oh, let's go. We, we're jumping in the car. I see this, this dude with dreads. Like, yo, what's up? And they're shooting at him. Goes, oh, it's one of the four. I'm like, this is right after I just knocked out, smacked the girl, knocked her out. Down around the corner. He's like, yo, I got shot. Him and his boy. I said, get in the car. He bleed, he's holding her. And here's a towel. And we drove. I think Jorge was driving. And we pulled, we dropped him off at St. Vincent's. This is so crazy. We dropped him at St. Vincent's. And I, and, and, and I was like, yo, I was just stabbed in there like a year before. I dropped him off. That was it. It was crazy. Crazy. So that's how the world is. No, he, I didn't know the guy. I don't know if his guy lived, or died, but he seems like yo later, bro. He's like shot, it. but you never know. Yeah? So that's how the that's how the J beef started. The J beef started. Yeah, I knocked him out twice. Right? I don't want to, if, you know, now the whole world knows, but let's say, but he probably like, you know, but you know what? I give it to him. He's like he's like a cockroach. He won't stop that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then MQ started writing over him after that. They they had another thing, Jay. We had beef for everyone. We had beef with RFC back then. So a lot of shit was happening. So we had beef. This when you say when you say they, you mean the DMS graph. The DMS, DMS crew. We had beef for yeah. everybody. We're okay. Same the HC boys from over here. But which, 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 a lot of people don't know TA7, which I grew up with. All the kids from Woodside, the Dominican kids. And my, you know, we, I, we all grew up together. But it's funny. Later on, we started having beef with each other. It was like crazy. You know? And a lot of dudes were either... Selling drugs or or thugging out, you know, the Alf for saying issue boys. These guys, the dudes are fucking ill niggas, man. Botch. You guys know these are dudes from Saint Issue Boys. Mm -hmm. you know Botch was Chinese, had all gold teeth. He was like, yeah, hey, you know, you ready to cut you in a second and Alf and uh, uh, RTC, you remember RTC? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. RTC was a he, was a he was a Hindu kid. Yeah. Was he? He was he, 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 he was Guyanese. You know? So he got mad, he called me Hindu. You know, so I was like, yo, nigga, it's whatever. You know, it's time. You know, you know, but I remember we flew. It was so, it was, you know, they used to diss us. And I remember one time, I was, we were so stupid and so young. You know, you like, think about your beefy neighbor. And, and, and what we do? JM's like, yo, is he Hindu? I was like, I, I, I don't know. We're going to fuck this nigga up. Right? So, <laughs> so, we, so th we went around. This is this helping. If this happened now, be a cancel. You know, every, he used to do faces like this. Right, it took over. We just put a red dot on every head, every throw up. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, the same. Imagine something like, like, like Jew. You know, that's how it used to be, like Jew spit. You know, like, we used to go ahead and tell us. So that was fun. One time, Chase, I'm going to tell you that. That's the most horrible thing ever. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. But then one guy had a, one guy, did a, I told, one guy had a, I'm going to say no names, but someone died in the hood. And um, we we're like, yo, we're going to get these niggas. So we went, we went up there. I said, M, let's go. And we, we went over there, rest in peace, rest, rest in hell. And we put a, a, we put a bozo clown on his head, a, a nose, like a clown nose, and a clown afro. Yo, they wanted to kill us. And that was, that was, that was some beef. I, someone did that to my fucking brother. Or my, you imagine? You put a picture of your, your boy dies, he's a gun. And you put, you put balloons on him and shit, and like a bozo clown. Yo, niggas want to kill us. That's but, yeah. but that's how it was. Mm -hmm. I'm cute. <laughs> MQ is, a, is my brother and one of the realest motherfuckers in the world. Like that. But MQ is a career criminal, but he's, he, just, he, 
He never saw. He could be like Banksy. He could be like Risky, my boy Risky, my, my brother Risky, West Coast artist. Shout out to Risky. He could be like that, make money like that, but he's straight for the culture. He's straight Queens, mm-hmm. you know, Corona. He don't give a fuck. You know, he, and the only way I, he would make money if I managed him and I would beat him and hold him. You know, Carol probably like, do it. Yeah. <laughs> and do it like a camp's here. But yeah. you don't do shit. Mm-hmm. I would have to keep that nigga in the hotel. I wouldn't even see my hotel, but he'll destroy the hotel. I would, I would rent someone's garage and give him a 500 and chain him in there and give him cocaine and let him just do and I'll be like yo I'll be a millionaire that's what I'm doing dude. Do. MQ how much are MQ $500 pieces go he, he could really sell his he could really he sell could, his he's stuff. one of the, I'm just, it's I'm, crazy that it's, yo that's honestly crazy he doesn't yeah. cause he, he could really sell but, he, but he's just yo know, I'm telling you guys you, you've seen uh, he's in his own world mm-hmm. as time goes on but he's in his own world but he's smart he's yeah. he's a street kid a lot of people don't know about that and must and Q been on the, on the, on his own since he's 14 years old mm. you know what I mean so I did me and him we were best friends we lived together we're brothers we've been through shit you know like and I got his back no matter what that, that's my brother it's, it's not like oh where's MQ that's my brother so like if someone walks in and says yo MQ's a bitch I, I would stab the guy in three times you know there'd be a fight right here be, oh, you know Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's the fuck. I'm just saying that's how that's yeah, how life yeah, yeah. is. Uh, yeah, I got you. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like. I'll be like, yo. I never looked for a fight in my life. I, I'll be like, I'd rather hang out, drink a double gold with Mountain Dew. Be, hey, what's up, guys? You know, like, you know, I, 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 lo- I you learn to love life as you get older. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And you, know, you understand when you guys get older, it's yeah. like, like, uh, like, I'm as happy. I'm fucking I'm gonna be 49 years old. And people know who the fuck I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, and, you seem really happy. You know what it does? It, it, life is crazy because once you get older, once you're 23? 24. 24. Yeah. So when you're 24, once you hit like the 30s and stuff like that, this life just changes. And then you understand like, whoa. like. Uh, so, you know, when, when you get into hardcore, you hate your parents. Mm-hmm. Just saying, they're not hate, oh, hate them, but like, but you don't understand me, shut the door. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you're like, but but once, <laughs> once you get older, you're like, Oh, my poor parents. I'll be like, what the fuck did I do to my mom? Like, I look at my mom's face and I'm like, yo, mom, I'm sorry. I'm like, here's money. Just take it. She's like, why for? Just, just take it. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> just take the money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, Danny, why? <laughs> she doesn't say that, you know? So, so. Yeah. So, so, but yeah, where can, you know, go get it. No, I was saying how, like, we've had a lot of guests, like, that can relate to that, you know, like they grew up like in a bad predicament, like they gone through a lot of shit. Yo, a lot of kids got. A lot, listen, I my parents were together. Yeah, they weren't divorced. They, you know, I came from a good. Fr- yeah. I come from a good family. Mm-hmm. My father was a cop. My mm-hmm. mother's the, the housewife. You mean? Know? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I come from a mixed family, different cultures. Mm-hmm. So I in Jackson Heights, you learn from different cultures, the most mm-hmm. diverse neighborhood in the world. Jackson Heights. That's actually true. Yeah. yeah that's, so you understand 100%. growing up, but somebody you know, but someone's Bangladesh, someone's Guyanese, someone's fucking for the, for a Pakistani, you, you know, someone you know, from everywhere, from Vietnam, mm-hmm. Bolivia, you know, you know different cultures. Mm-hmm. Other people of course, the United States is like, duh, you know, retarded. Mm-hmm. You know, you see people they're like, they, it's just funny. Like they, you go anywhere, but you're on the West Coast, they get more Mexican there, and they're like, no, they're like. They're, Peruvian, how he's Mexican? How you look at him? Things, I mean, it's so weird. They don't know. Right? Yeah, people close-minded. You know? yeah. 